whilst reconnecting. <laughs> what is what is Fire Emblem Seven X loves this fucking complicated language? <laughs> well, whilst reconnoitering, I think that's how you pronounce it. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not a native English speaker, okay? Anyway, whilst reconnoitering the Etrurian encampments, Uther and his companions stumble upon one of the Etrurians' own scouting teams. Oh, look, it's the big titty lady. And deadliest women on the continent. Alright, we're continuing the Uther saga now. For his trials, he gained invaluable... Oh, sorry. He gained information valuable to the Knights League and a terrifying vision of the future. The Etrurian forces was larger than the Brigade, or so they had assumed. Brigade, not Brigade. Rather, a very large portion of the Empire's standing army had been organized there, and more troops trickled in even as Uther attempted to estimate their number. His thoughts were dark as he sent his messenger, even as Madeline laughed and teased their new teammates. Lysia had not seen war for generations, and he knew well that he was poorly prepared for such a thing. Alright. So it's time for Chapter 6. Bloodbath. Well, that bodes well for the coming chapter. At least we get to open a... A chapter without the <laughs> la 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 theme. Look, I get that he's been the head of the state and all, but I've been writing for days. I got better things to do than bloody wait around on his pleasure. Like what? Gotta get my affairs in order, don't I? It's about time I left the country, and the same goes for you. Well, <laughs> look, it's the VIP again. Uh, who the fuck is this guy? Is he like the blue knight? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Just take my word for it. There's a storm coming, and you can either get out of the way or get right with the gods. Send him in. Come, it's time. And none too bloody soon. Ah, look, it's Daddy Hector again. The messenger, my league. Very well, if I'm quick about it, this should only hurt for a moment. It's an honor, your gloriousness. May I approach? Please do. It's... is his radiance expecting bad news? My liege, if I might be so bold, did you read the letter? What? what, what? That, that's preposterous. The seal is dark and withered. You retouched it to conceal your treachery, but the damage is already done. We knew that someone was selling our secrets away, but to be so brazen, you were asking to be caught in your hoisery. I, uh... Let it be, Sir Colton. We have matters of greater importance to attend to. Of course, sire. Captain Thor? Sir! Take him to the Master of Intelligence. Perhaps he can tell us who his customers were. I will. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. Sounds like he was about to get tortured to me, but... Are things truly so dark here? Oh, wow, he took off his helmet. Wow, he looks weird. Hmm, wonder if he's related to someone. Are things truly so dark, your eminence? I'm afraid so, old friend. It seems I must call a meeting of the League. Sir Elric? Oh, wait. Um, no, never mind. They're two different people. <laughs> they're, they're very similar, though. Ready and able, my liege. Send for my scribe, please. At once, sire. I have the feeling the summit will be less of a council and more of a trial. I must gather my allies. I must send word to Lord Uther as well. Your Eminence, might I perform this task? I, I worry for his well-being. It would be good to see him. Lord Uther is one of my most able men, Sir Colton. I need you here by my side. Of course, my league, but... Forgive me, sire. But are you not afraid for him? Indeed I am, but no more than I am for us all. Maybe it's like... I don't know. He looks like he could be related, but... I don't know. He has blue hair, I suppose. It has been interesting to see the scout at work. I've read much about Sakaean society. Wait, didn't I lose her? And how the tribes uh, migrate on horseback from one end of the plains to the other to allow the herd to repopulate and the plants to grow. About the connection or con contention between their tribes and our people over resources and holy sites. But I never imagined they would prove to be such effective warriors. He's cute too. <laughs> My lady. The scout. He's as pretty as I am, but he's all muscle and fire. Oh, that's right. They're about to shag, aren't they? Perhaps if you had a sister. Haha! <laughs> or a matronly aunt. Come now, my lady, be kind. You realize we're professional eavesdroppers, right? But of course! You're full of cheek today, Lady Madeline. I, I do think they have a support. It, it would really greatly uh, surprise me if they didn't. There it is again. What do you fellas make of it? Two riders from the west alone? Perhaps an envoy from the Etrurian army? Whoever it is, I wager it's more bad news. They're riding pretty hard. Should I get the others? Just in case. Why? 
Why do Fire Emblem Summon X love this song so much? I can't help myself. Anyway, it's uh, like, I remember these guys. They were in the first chapter, I think. Good tidings, sirs. It is our privilege to stand before you on behalf of Countess Isolde Spencer of Lothian, Mage General of the Divine Throne of Etruria, and etc. Oh, and etc. etc. May we speak with your commander? You already are. Oh, Magnus, it's him. Oh, his name is Magnus, really? The man from Pharah. Hello again, my hero. Well, would you look at that? The gods themselves could not keep us apart, it seems. Oh, she's the girl that Uther flirted with. You're making me blush, sir. My lord, it's now really the time for fraternization. As a matter of fact, this is the most appropriate circumstance I've ever had for it. <laughs> but we're being rude. This is Sir Eagler. And you may call me Uther. In fact, you may call me whatever you desire. Ugh. Oh, hush. My name is Eri, and this is Magnus. Perhaps you would show us to your tent? Magnus is my real-life name, by the way, in case you didn't know. I share everything with my companions, dear Eri. <laughs> what, including her? Oh! <laughs> uh, maybe after business is done, Magnus is welcome if he likes. Very well, Lady Isolde. Lord Uther, we've got company. Isolde, who's that again? Isolde. Isolde? There's something very familiar about that name. Isolde. Lord Uther, we got company. Oh, sod it all. The heavens and earth may not be able to separate us, but Sir Mark has done a pretty good job so far. We'll be with you shortly. Mark? Really? The tactician? It seems to be an advanced force, sir. Uh, here to secure the crossing. Mixed infantry supported by cavalry, and looks like they got ballista. Oh, fucking great, ballista. My favorite unit in Fire Emblem. Shit, <laughs> we haven't the men for this. Will Hussar help us? He said he'd do it gratis. Gratis, That's that means free Norwegian. Guess we could count on our lucky stars, huh? I don't think we can rely on luck for this. If those men cross into Ostia now, there will be no quieting the League's fury. It will be an all-out war. We'll need, we'll need to meet them at the pass. It's not exactly a fortified position, but it should serve as an adequate chokehold. With me, gentlemen. Uh-oh. Chokehold? Where's my armor knight? Oh, look at this guy. Well met, sir. And you, I assume you are the one to thank for the hole in our security a few nights ago. My humblest, humblest apologies. We're sorry? Uh, uh, Uther, that woman. Milady. You had no problem telling that dusky woman your name. That was different. She was a nobody, not a knighted commander. A nobody with you. <laughs> I like how she points out her tits. Ahem. Uther, as in Prince Uther of Ostia. This is most unfortunate. I would rather we continue our discussion, my lord, but I'm afraid my priorities are in disorder these days. I am charged with, by my superiors with securing this border, and should I take you hostage, your father would be helpless to resist us. I'm sure you understand. In another life, then. Or perhaps we are both very lucky on another day. I'd like that. I didn't catch your name, sir. Sir Horus of Grayski. I'll see you afield. Count on it. Wow, Atruri are being total dicks. Our priority should be holding this pass. If we can turn aside their assault, they will be forced to retreat and regroup. If we smash their commander, though, they'll scatter. It would be wise not to extend ourselves too far, lest some of them slip by. They will likely have reinforcements as well. Even if we drive their main force back, we may just be exposing the border to their backup teams. It is, of course, your decision. Hmm. Alright, so, we finally got some battle preparations. That's amazing. I love it. Okay. So let's check out this map, shall we? I'm pretty sure this is hard mode, by the way. I'm not completely sure, but I think it is hard mode. And, oh wow, what's this blue line here? Oh, wait a minute. Is this gonna be like a Conquest-style defense chapter? Also, who are these two green units? I can't select them. Anyway, so let's take a look at how who we can bring. So, ah, uh, that actually kind of sucks. I can't bring Tori because she's dead. Alright, well, finally we get a chance to use some battle preparations. I think I'm gonna give this Angelic Robe to Isadora. She definitely needs the defensive boosts. Um, we also got the Light Brand, I think we're gonna give that to Uther. The Magus Band, I think I'm gonna give to Marcus. It boosts defense growth, or sorry, resistance growth by uh, 30%. Uh, it also gives two power, which is sort of nice. Maybe I should rather give that to someone who doubles reliably. I think Cybel's probably my weakest recruit. I'm gonna try to give her some kills. Anyway, Eagle, Eagler, I kinda want him to have a vulnerary, so I'll do this. Um, so let's take a look at the map itself. So we gotta defend this blue line. Well, in defense chapters, you usually want to be offensive rather than defensive, because that's kinda how you win. But 
knowing I mean I'm I'm gonna guess that most of these units that we see here are not the only ones we're probably gonna have quite a few reinforcements we got James right here bookworm braggart and accomplished engineer He's a monk. Okay, so there's a mini boss of sorts. We got Horus right here. The line of Grayski, a career soldier turned knight. He has a droppable light brand, which is kind of cool. And of course, we got everyone's favorite uh, enemy. We got Ballistas. I hope they can't move. That would have been really, really silly if they did. We got an arena here. That's amazing. We can also check what the shops are selling. Fire, Elf, Thunder, Heal, and Vulnerary. Okay. And this armory sells a bunch of really good weapons. We definitely want a javelin, so yeah, for sure, for sure. Maybe we should just send Marcus over there and, and get it immediately, I don't know. Mm. So yeah, um, maybe we could position... Hassar could visit this on the first turn if he wants to, but I, I have a feeling we might need him to do battle. I don't really think I need anything from there, so I'll just put him here for the time being. There we go. Yeah, I say we just go. Or we'll say whatever that means. I don't know how you activate checkpoints. We're with you, my lord. You're giving me mixed messages, little dove. <laughs> I love the flirtatious attitude between these two. Is bloodshed your idea of courtship? You don't want her to answer that. Just rest assured that we're here as <laughs> as adverse to the idea of war as you. Will you accept our aid? I might a ways to make a man fall to his knees and beg for a merciful end. She's pretty handy with magic too. <laughs> fall in, man. Cool. We got a pupil. So this is- oh my god, his name is Mungnus? That's so awesome. That's my real life name, in case you don't know. A wily ex-criminal who discovered his magical talent only recently. So he's a pupil, also known as a page. He can use thunder magic and he has a red gem. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. And then we got, uh, Aerie, a, prodi a prodigious sorceress from Aturia's magic bureau, steeped in infamy. And she's a pupil, so that's probably like a dark magic, uh, pupil class. Okay. I like it. So, I think I got a lot of, of supports uh, penned up right here, so I'm gonna see. Uh, can Madeline ha and Hazar support? They cannot. I think Harkin and Isadora have a support with each other, so I'm actually gonna activate that right away. Ha! Got you now. Hello? Hi. Are you ready to give in? Why are you so worked up over this? You're not giving me any choice. It's for the good of the team, Harkin. If you can't trust us with this, then how can you trust us in battle? Besides, it clearly weighs heavily on you. It will do you some good to cheer your burden. Alright. I first arrived in Lycia by way of Sake, and that meant stopping in Arafan. The Rowlerick was feuding with the state at the time, so he was making generous promises to anyone who would join his army. But the incumbent Marcus Dastan was making no such promises, so I joined Alaric. He was rightfully here anyway. I spent a while running letters, and then some time in a spear wall, and then, eno uh, then enough older boys died that I was captain of my squad. How horrid! That was only the beginning. Lord Alaric was starting to win, so he insisted on making sure we carried our momentum. He started pushing us into more and, de and more desperate fights, all the while planning his next moves in advance. Moves that he needed his knights and his archers for, so to minimize casualties among them, he threw his infantry to the wolves. The first of these moves left only three kids in my squad, so we were joined to another. After that, there was just me. Oh, Harkin. Nice, we get some Harkin backstory, I love it. Anyway, so let's see, can Isadora kill this guy? Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, we might need to use Eagler. Let's see. Eagler can do some nice damage to this guy. Uh, I think I'm, I would rather use Marcus. I think I'm going to use Marcus. Yeah, let's use Marcus. If we use Marcus plus Isadora, this guy will die. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have to trade her Sambato away because the Sambato is really heavy and it weighs her down. I'm not just exactly sure how much it weighs, but I think it's pretty heavy, isn't it? Waste 11, yeah, it slows her down by 6 points, so let us, uh, okay, we're gonna have to take a chance on this. We're running with a uh, single RN, so 78% is a lot less reliable than it otherwise would have been. I think 78 is something akin to 86% or something in terms of Druid, so. Anyway, I think I'm gonna send Eagler. He has a conversation with Harkin too, but I don't have time for that right now. So I'm gonna send Eagler to soften up this guy a little bit, like that. Something tells me this is going to be a really fucking hard chapter, especially considering I'm kind of used to normal mode at this point. Uh, hmm, these guys can't really do much. I guess I'll just uh, trade the... Uh, I'll trade the Sambato away, I guess. Let's try that. Like this. And maybe we can visit the shop with Magnus later. That'd be kind of nice. Anyway, I don't want to place uh, Hussar in range, but I do want to place Uther in range, so we'll place Uther here. 
And I do want to I do want to check for supports constantly because I'm pretty sure I have a couple accumulated at this point. There we go, and then we'll send Madeline. Madeline's actually sort of running a little bit low on healing, so I hope that I'll be able to get a heal stuff for her at some point. Oh man, gotta love ranged weapons, am I right? All right, that guy runs into Eagler. That guy runs into Marcus. Not exactly surprising. And we got two Cavaliers coming from the south here. What the f- wait a minute, what? Oh my god, this guy just picked up his friend. What? Enemy rescuing? That's so cool, I love it. Oh my god, that's seriously cool. I fucking love it. That is one of the coolest things I've seen so far. Enemies rescuing each other, I love it. Anyway, we can probably, uh, if we... Hmm, something tells me I should probably position Eagler in range of these two. Lance Reaver. Oh god, this guy has a Lance Reaver. That's not good. Though, to be fair, I probably need Eagler to soften up this guy. Uh, Uther can probably deal with this guy with his Claymore. And then I'll position Eagler here. Wow, I hate his accuracy. His accuracy is really bad. But maybe... What if I use the Swift? Oh my god, Hassar can actually kill this guy. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. So one thing about archers that I didn't realize at first, that uh, people have been pointing out in the comment section, is that whenever archer, I'm not sure if I said this in the previous part, I actually kind of forget what I'm saying and what I don't say, but um, archers always have weapon triangle advantage at a uh, distance, or when they can attack, and when they can't attack, they have weapon triangle disadvantage, which is really fucking cool, by the way, that is an amazing concept, I love it. Huh, alright, so what should we do here? I kind of want to put someone on this, uh... It would be kind of nice to put, I don't know, Shade? <laughs> I want to call her Shade, but her name is Airy. Um... I kind of want to give this kill to Harkin, I think. I really want him to promote to a mercenary at this point. There we go. I do need to do something about those Cavaliers, though, because they're going to swamp me. I mean, I what I could do, theoretically, is I could place Uther in range of them both. And Uther will probably murder them. Um, yeah, if I place Uther right here, and equip the Claymore, he should be able to deal with those guys. But the question is, can Isadora deal with this guy? She can do 17... Wow, that, that hit rate is garbage. Absolute garbage. Hmm. What if I have uh, Hassar as the only target for this archer? That means he's gonna go and suicide himself. That would be sort of useful? Yeah, I'm gonna attack this guy now. The only thing I gotta be a little bit careful about is that there is a... Uh, there is a Ballista over there. I didn't check its range, but... Something tells me it might be in the range of... Marcus, fuck! Okay, he only does 11 damage, though. But then again, the Ballistas might have... Oh, there we go! You can actually see his attack. 11 attack. That's not a lot at all. That means he's gonna do, like, no damage to Marcus. Unless, of course, we have to count the Weapon Triangle advantage, which is like 3 points of damage, so... Yeah, he's actually closer to 14 attack, which is gonna be like 5 damage to Marcus, so that's not... ...awful. But I actually really need to... Wow, I wish I could've killed this guy, but I can't. Um... These two might be enough to kill this guy. Nope. Definitely not. Okay, I may... may have just fucked up here. Oh wow, that is some awful hit rates right there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to use Eagler here. Yep, I'm gonna have to use Eagler to kill this guy. It kinda sucks, but I have to. Um, and then maybe if I bring this guy low enough... Actually, I might still be able to kill this guy. Yeah, cause 12 plus Isadora, that is possibly a kill? We'll have to see, she ne she'll need to hit though. Wait a minute, what? Kyahaha! <laughs> Feel the chill of my towering shadow and despair. In the name of the Mage General and the Divine Throne of Etruria, I shall sear away your skin and pulverize your bones. The ripping, the tearing, and the anguish? I do that for fun. Wow. This woman is cuckoo. And she also has... Like, that's so cool. She has her own boss quote. <laughs> I love this woman. Who is she, though? Who is she? Alright. Oh my god, that's perfect. I don't even need to use this Adora. Magnus is OP. I love how you can cancel the remainder of the combat by doing this. It's amazing. So that drops us a javelin. That's pretty cool. 
I can't heal anyone this turn with Madeline, though, so I think what I'll do... I, I just pray that Marcus is not going to get killed by this guy. He shouldn't. He, he really should not. Um... Oh, wow, I just realized Harkin is in range of this archer. Oh, well. Okay, no supports to speak of that I can see. I guess I'll just put her next to him, then. I could also, if, I, if I'm feeling really feisty, I could put this guy in range of Isadora, but I fear he's gonna kill her, so I think I might... probably will not. Let's not. Okay, let's see how this enemy face goes. Yeah, this guy goes for Harkin, no surprise there. And Uther with his... Oh, that's a 72% miss. Okay, will Marcus die? Nope. He dodged. Oh my god, and now he dropped off his friend. Why did he do that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> that's really weird, actually. Anyway, uh, let's see. Can Uther one-shot this guy? Almost 23 damage. It might actually be enough if I... Um... Okay, so this guy needs to die. How much damage does the Swift do? 16 damage plus... Oh, wow, I gotta spread myself pretty thin here. I think we need Eagler to do this. Uh, Eagler can't reach the, uh... He can't reach the fort, sadly. I really need to hit this Eagler. Okay, good job. And then, what we can do is we can send Isadora to kill this guy if she hits him, which... Yeah, those hit rates are not fantastic. How does she perform against this guy? As you can see, attacking are they're really weak on a, on a player face right now, or enemy face, which is sort of what you want archers to be, I guess. Mm, I mean, if I move, um, if I move Madeline, I can heal like this. And then Aerie might, might have the damage to kill this guy? Oh, she's one damage short, that's so sad. She's one damage sword. Although that means that, well, Cybill is not in range. We're probably gonna have to use Uther for this. Uh, man, why don't I have a shove function? I really want a shove function. Can I have shove? That'd be fucking great. Man, what do I do about this? So I need to think about who can attack who. So Harkin... Harkin can probably... No, he probably will not be able to kill this guy. But he's very close to killing this guy. I think I might do this. And then maybe I can give this kill to Cybill. Cybill is by far one of my weakest recruits. She has almost gotten no kills. So I'm gonna do this. I really want her to get her mounts. Alright, get a good level up, darling. Let's go. Eh, I'm fine with this. You're pretty far away from being as good as Sephir, though. I mean, I want to do this, but at the same time, it's so scary. Because 60% actually means 60%. I think these two can take this guy down, though, so I'll do that. Man, I love the thunder animation. It's so cool. I love the sounds that this game makes. Alright, we'll do this. This still isn't a pretty reliable hit. Not a big fan of the single RM at all. Alright, he's dead. So what do I do here? I mean, if I use Hassan... Oh wow, he kills him! Perfect. Man, I love Hassar. He's the best. There you go, and now he's dead. Now the question is, um... Oh wow, a Lance Reaver, that's gonna come in handy. How does Uther perform here? 22 damage. Is anyone here in danger of dying? I mean, I guess I could use Marcus. But if I do that, no, he's, defi he's definitely gonna die to this guy though, because he has a Halberd. Well, nobody here is in danger of dying, I think. 9 speed, 10 speed, slim sword. I think I'm pretty, pretty good here. I don't like the... if I... Wait, are any of these in range? No, this guy's not in range. I guess I'll just injure him then. Let's use the claymore. There's a good chance I might not even hit. But I did, so it's good. I mean, if I could get the javelin that I know someone has... Uh, who has the javelin? This guy has the javelin. I can... Oh, I know what to do. But the question is, can Marcus do 14 damage? I doubt it. But I might as well give it a shot. We can do this. Ooh, but... Does this guy kill Marcus? No, he does not. He does not. So what we do then is we... Trade the javelin over. And... Hits, hopefully. Yes! Trade strats! 
The trade strats are real. Alright, let's go. Okay, so now this guy will go for Uther. He might get doubled. Yeah, because he's wielding a Halberd. Lovely. Ah, oh, there comes the reinforcements. I knew those fuckers would show up at some point. So, I'm tempted to pull the miniboss because... I don't know. I just have a feeling that that's gonna cut off some reinforcements. I have no... Like, I don't know if it will. But it might. And if it does, then, you know... I might as well go for it, right? I can kill this guy with Hussar. I will actually kill him without him being able to retaliate at all. Actually, it's a she. But all those Cavaliers, I have a feeling Uther might be my best bet against those guys. So I'm gonna send Uther and his Claymore up. Let's take a look at what their inventory is actually like. But yeah, that's great. So Hussar is in the range of James, so he'll probably kill himself on enemy phase. Let's see. Uh, Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Slim Lance, Iron Sword. Well, that's pretty convenient. I would. I don't think it's a good idea to let him take on all of them, but he can at least take on some of them. And that's he's outside the range of the uh, Ballista, which is kind of cool. So right now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to visit the village with Marcus, but I want to heal him first. That would be ideal. I could also, I suppose, assist Uther a little bit with uh, Eagler. Actually, you know what? Nah, let's not do that. Let us not do that. I guess what we can do is we can sacrifice with Eagler. I think that's what I'm... Oh, we got a support with Marcus. Sure, let's do it. Sir Marcus, can you handle this flank? I would prefer to stay close at hand to the Lord and Lady. Sir, I don't know if that's such a good idea. What do you mean, sir? I am but a lowly errant, sir. I, I have rode at the tournaments in Quintance, but... Hmm. How many hours have you drilled, sir? How many times have you checked the fittings of your armor and saddle? Do you truly expect these Wagarin cuddles to... Uh, cudgels to, to be half as prepared as a knight errant of Farah? I... Of course, you speak truly, sir. I'm being a fool. I cannot rely on these others, sir Marcus. I need a man of strategy and skill to assist me. Can you be that man for Farah? For Farah, anything. Cool. Uh, he can still move, but I guess there's no point. Anyway, let's check for more reinforcements, shall we? Uh, nope, no reinforcements. I guess I'll move, uh, I, I guess I could do some shopping. But at the same time, I really want to be effective on enemy face here. Okay, I'll just put Marcus up here. And then I'll go and heal him up. Yeah, Madeline badly needs uh, some healing, or a uh, new heal staff. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to visit the village. I guess I'll do it with Harkin. It's not like a single ballista's gonna kill him, so let's do it. Ha! Another day wasted, another day that fiend prowls about unchecked. Hmm, you, there. Have you perchance crossed a robed man in your travels? He babbles like a half-crazed child and has but one arm. No, nobody like that. A shame. Here, keep this with you. Until I can find and detain him, the knight... The knights hereabout are not safe. Cool. I think that means we're gonna get Fog of War. Just a hunch, though. Just a hunch. Oh, we got another talk conversation. Let's go do it. Greetings, and well met. Is there something I can help you with? These aren't exactly the right conditions for small talk. It'll be brief. Uh, you were incarcerated for conspiracy in the past, correct? That isn't your concern, friend. Oh, my deepest apologies. I had gotten the strange impression during my schooling that keeping knife-wielding firebrands away from our lord was one of our knight's most important duties. Yikes, where do you hide those horns of yours? Answer my question, please. Yes, this brand means I was charged with conspiracy. The other four are for assault, embezzlement, extortion, and obstruction of justice. But not murder. Nope. Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes, thank you. It was my overwhelming pleasure. <laughs> cool, I like it. Alright. Come at me, brass. Yeah, here comes the boss. I suppose everyone has to serve on the line sooner or later. Come then, you will find me as worthy of a soldier as I am an officer. Okay. Will I quadruple, though? I very much doubt it. Oh, wait, he's just gonna get healed up by the troubadour, isn't he? Yeah, there's a troubadour right there. Anyway, here comes Uther. He's injured now, which is good. Means he hits harder. Pew! Ow, wow, that guy does a lot of damage. A weapon triangle advantage is really kicking in. Oh boy, okay. Time to choke, I think. Wait, Eagler is... Oh wait, he's on a fort. <laughs> I was like, does he have a renewal? Nah, he's just on a horse. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You know what? If I do the swift bow... 8, 16, 24. If I get critted, I die. Which is kind of sad. Um, I would ideally like to kill this guy with Harkin. 
Just gotta feed some more kills to my recruits. I mean, I guess what I can do is I can run away. Um, I really want to occupy this fort. I guess I could put Marcus there or something. I think Eagler. I mean, this guy does like six damage. That's nothing. I can uh, kill this guy with Eagler. I think that's probably the best course of action. Then I can put Marcus on the fort. Or I could put Uther on the fort. Because this guy can't really ride around if I do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, can use my Javelin, I guess. But I kind of worry for Marcus's safety. So I think I'll just use the Iron Lens. At the same time, though, I'm not sure if I want to move Uther away from this point. Because that, that'll put him in range of the bow. Oh, wait! He's out of ammo. Great. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, fix up Lord Uther. Let's see how much damage he does to this cavalry, dude. Uh, wow, okay. It takes 12 damage. I think I'm just not gonna attack. But then again, that's kind of boring. Alright, punished. I know. Punished. Alright, so this guy, yeah, they can't ride all the way around, so this should be good. So I guess we're just gonna have to risk the crit, don't we? 8, 16, 24. Please don't crit me. Please don't crit me. Alright, we're good. We're good. So this means that Cybill can actually get a boss kill. Ugh, I don't like these hit rates, but they'll have to do. There you go, perfect. Ah, the end! You there, could you... Would you mind the kindness? Proper burial? I, I don't want... Feed the crows! <laughs> oh wow, that's almost a full level. Okay, so what do we do now with Harkin? Um, hey, maybe uh, Eri can uh, deal with this guy. Wow, the weapon triangle is so steep in this game. It's pretty insane how, how much it matters. Alright, might as well make the best of it then. God, all of her attacks looks like crits. That's the problem when you got these awesome animations. Okay, I can't reach these guys because my pupils suck. I guess I'll just uh, attack from the safety of Loruther. And I don't know, pray to God that they don't kill him. God, I hate single RN. I hate it with a fucking passion. You'll see so many fucking high percentage hits missing. Anyway, it's time to. Uh, wow, I can actually use the torch even though it's not Fog of War. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll just place Isadora here on the fort. It's not really all that much for her to do. I guess I'll just put her forward. Uh, wait, does this guy kill Hassar? No, he has four rests. He should be good. Alright. Time for Marcus to do some tanking. Wow, he gets a lot of experience from these guys. Wow, rests! Thank you, Magus Band. Totally worth it. Would have been a blank level up if he hadn't gotten that. Hit points, strength, and defense. Okay, and that mage gets healed up, of course. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to end this part and continue in the next one. Looks like this might be a two-parter. Uh, I really want to reach the boss. We're, we're on 6 out of 16 turns, so we got a lot of turns to reach him. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of reinforcements coming up, though. So we got to be careful, but... By killing this guy, I might have prevented some reinforcements. I'm not sure, but that's my hunch. So we'll see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give this episode a like and a comment. And I shall see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.